giving all praises, honors and glories unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Dash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that told me this truth that were well. Shalom to the elect scattered through the four corners of the earth. My name is Kodash Paya. Real quick, um, don't let the situation change you. Change the situation, right? Don't let the situation change you. Change the situation and, you know, whatever situation, trials or tribulations that the Lord puts you through, just know that if he puts you to it, he could get you through it. You know, it's all about faith. You know what I mean? And like you see the picture here on the, on the right, it says, let faith be bigger than your fears. Right? Let faith be bigger than your fears. Because we know that these things are going to happen. You know, as far as um, perils, going through situations to grow. Having your faith exercised, you know, having humility exercised, being humble, things of that nature, according to the scriptures. And uh, it can make you or break you, and um, faith will activate, you know, divine intervention. The Lord didn't give us the spirit of fear, but with everything going on, you're going to have a lot of people, uh, you know, be in panic mode, you know, and brothers, you know, that believes in the truth, in the true name, and in the true doctrine, you know, we're going to held, we're going to be held accountable, you know, we're going to go through things first because we're bringing it out, we know, we know what's happening, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, you read about in the scriptures, your forefathers, you know, what they went through, right? And how they overcame it. Job, Paul, Yahweh Shai, you know, so on and so forth. You know what I mean? But the people in America, Babylon the Great, they're so comfortable thinking society is going to continue. You know, business as usual. Right? But scriptures speak about us counting the cause. Seeing, seeing how things are, are, are happening and where is it going to escalate to, you know? Because people haven't really suffered, like, severe famines, severe, severe water droughts. You know, now there's a major recall on water, you know? They haven't seen these severe atrocities happen in front of them, like cannibalism, <laughs> martial law, you know? Because when things, these things come to pass... Right? As it tells you, even uh, 2nd Ezra 15 and 16, neighbors going to invade neighbors for the lack of bread. Right? But what scriptures say? A prudent man. Matter of fact, let's get that one first. Let's get that one first. Then we get Philippians uh, 4. Right? Let's go to book of Proverbs, chapter 22. Verse 3, it says, A prudent man foreseeth the evil, and hideth himself, but the simple pass on, and are and are punished. People are about to get punished by these, this judgment. Our temptation is coming. World War Three is escalating. Right? And these things we know of, Yahweh Shai already told us what was going to happen before his second return. So we watch and pray. Right? And, and trust in the Lord. These people, they trust in their money. They trust in the government. They trust in things that's corrupt and temporary. So, guess what they're going to fall by? Philippians chapter 4 verse 11. Not that I speak in respect of want. For I have learned in, in whatsoever state I am, wherewith to be content. So, you know, it's always going to be a balance. You know, the Lord could bless you with a good job. Rents paid. You know, your belly's full, right? And then, you know, for, for some time, then something may happen. The lights shut off or there's no water in the crib. How are you going to maneuver through it? You know, don't let it change you, who you are. You know, have faith and watch the situation change for you. All right? Just like you had Peter, Paul was locked up. 
backs against the wall. They ain't panic. Send prayers to the Lord. Have faith. Trust in Him. And what? The Lord sent the angels to get him up out of there. Daniel in the lion's den. You know? He could have got killed from them lions. Hungry lions at that. But what? He trusted in the Lord. Had faith. Prayed. The Lord sent the angel. Closed the mouths of the lions. Had the king in awe. Like, oh snap. Yeah, your God is real. Yeah. Because everybody's about to see the miraculous ways the Lord is going to pull his men through these situations. While everybody else is panicking, going crazy. Then what the scriptures say, uh, then shall they know that a prophet was among them. So, brothers, you go through something, take it cheerfully. You know? Because even that's temporary. We ain't going to suffer forever. You know? Verse 12, I know both how to be abased and I know how to, to abound. Everywhere... And in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Hamashiach, Yahweh which strengthened in me. So the Lord's going to strengthen you. He gives the strength. You know, through our weakness, our, weakness our, our strength is made whole. Right? I believe uh, roughly paraphrasing, that's how uh, Paul stated that, First, uh, Second Corinthians 12. Believe on about the ninth verse. You know, so you get go through these experiences. So rock the second chapter, or Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha. What? Second chapter, it tells you, if thou comes to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. Why? Because you serving the righteous God, which is Yahweh, and there's only begotten son Yahweh Shai, being righteous in 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 a land of forsaken. You know, battling Satan. These demons, these people around, these, everything that go uh, this society promotes goes contrary to the truth. So if we speak in the truth, right, that's going to make these people com that's comfortable here uncomfortable. So what you think is going to happen? But it's okay. It's all right. Because the Lord, the Lord got his men. All right, Romans the 8th chapter. You know, Psalms the 91st chapter. See? You defending him, he's gonna defend you. All right, let's get a uh, Second Corinthians chapter chapter eleven and verse twenty five. Mm, okay, hold on, Salaki. Boom, boom. Alright. So it says, Second Corinthians um, 11, chapter 25, uh, verse 25 rather, it says, Thrice was I beaten with rods, once was I stoned. Here's Paul saying what he went through. Thrice I suffered shipwreck, a night and a day I have been in, in the deep. Damn. In journeyings, often in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils by my own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren. So this is the, all the perils that he went through and he's describing them. In weariness. In watchings often, in hunger and thirst, in fasting often, in cold and nakedness. Beside those things that are without, that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. So, still got to show that, 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 that care towards the Lord. You know, he chastised those he loved. Now, it's not always going to feel good, but it's for the benefit later on. Working out don't always feel good. You know, no pain, no gain. And it, it keeps you humble. You know, you don't, can't glory in things that can be easily taken away as, as well as your life. You know? 
So this is, uh, let's go to another scripture. First Peter's 4. It's like First Peter's. Chapter 4, verse 12. It says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. So it's not a strange thing. You know, the Lord warned us if we if we do that which is right in the land that that is so committed to do wrong, you think we're not going to go through any fiery trials? Then not only that, we battle not against flesh and blood, but against principality. So you got to be spiritual to understand that. You know, even when you get attacked by people, it's not really them. It's the spirit within them, the demons. they trying to, you know, throw you off your game. You know what I mean? And that's why we got to continue, you know, in prayer. That the Lord take not the Holy Spirit away from you and, and allows you to get through these, uh, these situations, man. Because things is about to get crazy. What, next month, June, we're in the halfway mark of this year, 2024, election is on November, well, seven, seven months, rather, well, you know what, well, you could say six, so like it, but um, anyway, anyway, um, things are happening quick, man, um, You know what? Let's finish off with one precept. I want to finish off with Isaiah chapter 14, verse 22. Alright? Since we read that, let's 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 finish off with this. It says, For I will no, uh what is it? Do I have it do I have it backwards? Salak here. Is it twenty two and fourteen? Hold on. Hold on, Salaki, bear with me. I believe it's Isaiah 14. Forgive me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. I think it's Acts. <laughs> hey, man. Acts. The book of Acts, chapter 14, verse 22. There we go. There we go. I don't know why I thought it was Isaiah. That's the spirit, though. The water. Acts chapter 14 verse 22 says, Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. So, you walk in that straight gate, prepare thyself for temptation. You're going to go through them. Um, tribulations, you know? But that's why we exhort one another, comfort one another with these words. You see, because when all hell breaks loose, when they shut the internet off, you know, you're going to wish you hear, heard a brother. Or if you're not even around a brother, you're going to wish you saw a brother. You know, but that's when, um, that's, 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 uh, leading to what the hour of temptation, you know? But, hey, the Lord got you as long as you continue in the Word. Matter of fact, Revelation 3 and 10, might as well. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And, you know, patience is also part of suffering. It says, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon earth, and that's that to try them goes into the word, you know, to test, to try, trial. You know, behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, 
you know, no man take that crown. So with that, I hope this lesson was edifying, straight to the point. Till next time, shalom.